Hello everybody, welcome to the incredible round of 32 match between Elliot and Crystal Hunter. Um, this is a brutal matchup for Elliot with his Chaos up against Chunter's Skaven. In the booth with me is Faimir, hello! Hello, here we are, I want to watch uh, Chunter doing uh, some horrible disgusting things as usual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It it's rough because he's got the wizard right, and the wizard is almost his only chance in this game. Like he's got he's got the he's got the natural one turner, which is obviously a big part of how he wins, and the other part of how he wins is the wizard. So the best play was definitely, if you ask me, to sack this minotaur that's worth like two hundred and fifty k or whatever the hell he is. Like he's insanely expensive minotaur. Um, so he should have definitely got rid of him, but he didn't, you know, and it's. The team's called Moo, we can't just sack the Minotaur, can we? That was the thing with Elliot, they were saying I was going to take a Minotaur, so I took the Minotaur, and the Minotaur has block and tentacles, so it can be useful. Yeah, it's, it's a great, it's but a great thing. But Chanter also has tentacles, so you know, the tentacle security is at the same level. Yeah, yeah, he's got strength two tentacles, that's why he's got a bit of a weird tail, that is a tentacles got rid of, which probably not and, many people have seen before. <laughs> and guard. To make you know, absolutely hateful piece. <laughs> Bannister never falls down his steps. <laughs> Dimmy Bannister. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> the man with a golden mouse, Dimmy Bannister. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> And yeah, there's loads of guard as well on this team, like on this Skaven team. Four guard. Pretty brutal. Hunter um, is always dangerous, but giving him a, whole, a full team, you know, with the skills on every player is like absolute nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Elliot, Elliot's got to rapidly remove players, basically. Yes, like two per turn or something like that. Yeah. Who won the toss? It's a good question. We don't. I don't think we know Jahani. Yeah, I don't know we can. Um, probably, probably Chunter. Yeah, probably Chunter. I don't think it tells you who won. But uh, I'm sure Ali would kick because he wants. He wants the. Uh, Ali would kick because he wants the full 15 turns to get his hand on the one turn. Yep. That's that's. I'm, Sure, you would. Now, uh, Chunter is is very aggressive with wizards, so wouldn't be surprised to see the wizard early. And again, like you know, that's as you should be, right? Uh, as, again, as I have learned, uh, you are on a limited clock here. Um, the time is ticking. You're, it's a ticking time bomb, isn't it? This uh, this matchup, and he's getting a nice little surf here. Um, so he's got to. Uh, He's got to use the wizard kind of early to get any value from it, but also he's not afraid to do that. There you go, you got to say that was careless by Elliot to leave that on. Yeah, counting in the stand four, not a good idea there. Because like that was, that was not hard to do, was it? You know? Yes, also I mean, one Ooh. dice, that's a lot for Chandra standard, usually it should be two red dice. <laughs> yeah. With not a roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chunder might have gone for that as an uphill. <laughs> but to leave him to leave it that easy to, to get the one turn serve was uh, was poor. So only got the one tackler. And he's got the minnow here. Okay, he's he's gotta hit this guy, right? And then and then 3D the gutter. Good. This is going to leave the ball pretty exposed. Probably. Like this is the thing, right? It's really hard as the chaos. You've got to move up the field, but you also want to base people to generate pressure, and you want to hit the gutters, but you've also got to protect the ball against a wizard and movement nine edge four players. So it's pretty brutal, isn't it? They did flux stream here. Alone mandatory. I mean. Uh... Good, getting the kill. I think we will be seeing the wizard now because this is uh, this is pretty dodgy. He 
this is pretty dodgy from the It was it was nice doing all this thing to set it up and that, fair enough. But... Maybe you should have dodged to here? Like I don't know if it matters. But <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, cause yeah, the, the, the bolts come in, no doubt. So I'd, I'm, I'm sure Elliot will have thought which square was better to fall over in. But uh... yeah, making it more difficult to the rats to move, even uh, just putting a body on the floor. Yeah, maybe this guy shouldn't have run so far back, especially yeah, as it's coming this turn. <laughs> I was really surprised to see a Thunder uh, player moving that way. Yeah, that was a long way back. Yeah, exactly, Jehanian. Like, it is it is super hard, isn't it, for this? Like, they've got to do all those things. It isn't just keep the floor safe, it is. It's got to do so, all these things. There are so many good players in the Enchanter team. The Gatters, the IG4, Blitzer. Uh, like, it's a nightmare. Oh, he's not passing with this guy. Oh, I thought he'd pass back to this guy, wouldn't you? I guess he can just hit him. Nah, he was a uh, target. Yeah, 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 this, this wasn't so good. It wasn't as good as I thought, so he's just going to hoof it up. But yeah, imagine if this guy had had been like here instead of here. <laughs> like he was here, wasn't he? If he'd been there, yeah. he would have got all down the field and he would have just lobbed it to him and he would have been like, he would have caught that. He would, like, he would, have, he would have been over here with the ball or something. I don't know why he did that. You can fish for a power on that gutter. And at least push him away another square. It's not much, but it's uh, it's about all. Given the circumstances, it's the pow, mighty blow. Oh, another it. kill. Which is all right, but now you need to grab the ball and go up, and it's gonna be turn five. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the chance of the score now is obviously really low. He's just got to get out of it nil-nil, hasn't he? And at the end of the day, there's only one more There's only one more gutter on the field, isn't there? There's, there's, there's only this one left. Because he pommed one. He's just removed that gutter. So there's only one gutter left. So this isn't that bad. And at the end of the day, 0-0 zero, zero isn't that bad because even if you scored normally, it you know, there'd be a very high chance of it being 1-1 one, one due to the natural one-turner. So Yeah. That was with the one that uh, blitz again, ultra aggressive. One face the dodge. Obviously, because it was a 2 plus, not a 3 plus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess, he, I guess he's got this got, He's got this storm weapon as well as the gun. He's got the sure hands pick up. Can he get a tackler? No, the tackler's on there. And the rackle's down. So yeah, go for the guy without dodge. Makes more sense because he's still edge four, isn't he? He can still do something. Yeah. Try and get the minnow on this guy. Maybe, maybe the minnow. Yeah, but then if you blitz and you haven't got them in there, so yeah, that was a bit. I mean, this is risky though, isn't it? Because the uphill with wrestle and strip, it's very good chances of working. How all Fugonomics? That's that's a nice move because he really wanted to hit him from that direction to push him away. Whereas now, if he pushes him and strips him, there's too many tackle yeah, zones for the uh, storm vermin, isn't there? Yeah, that was nice. Going straight for the strip. No, he's not. Why oh, he's not doing no. it? Wow. He's going with a or oh, well, it's three plus two plus. Yeah, three two four. For one D. I'm surprised at that. For a two D. Yeah, but I mean, he's he's doing this dodge, so this was the recovery, wasn't it? Like, you know, if he if he if he powered him or something, or like wrestled him, then this guy could have just gone straight through. Imagine if he 
like wrestled him and the ball had come out here, then he just goes four, three, two, and scores. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I think that was. I'm not going to say it was shit and wrong. Yeah, I also was uh, convinced he was to be the up here with the wrestler. Because you're denying yourself the recovery, aren't you? Like by doing it that way. That's. It was going to be a 2D, I guess. It wasn't. Yeah, I don't know why it was going to be a 2D. It was going to be a 2D from Storm Vermin, but still. Too many rolls. To yeah. reach the, the 2D. Yeah, like if you don't, it would have made more sense if the Storm Vermin had had dodge. I think. Anyway, who am I to say whether it's right or wrong anyway at the end of the day? I just, it's just not what I would have done, but you know. Um, <laughs> Shunter has won Chalice with Rats before and has played probably about a thousand more games with uh, <laughs> with Skaven than I have, so... Yes. There you go. That was a bit of a dodgy block from Meliod, wasn't it? Like, he's got the reroll for it. But that was a bit of a risky block. Okay, now the rats have a complicated situation if they want to uh, put pressure on the wall. Yeah, his best hope is fa is hoping uh, Elliot fails one of his GFIs. But he, he spunked a reroll there, really, Elliot. That was that was a bit of a dodgy block. I'm not sure he he, he had to, you know, like yeah. yeah. Mm, it was a bit it was a bit greedy. Mino was protecting the ball. He could have just stayed where he was because he's got to make he's got to make like three GFIs, hasn't he? To score. No, two. Yeah, he's gonna make two GFIs. He should have uh, should have kept his. Should he should not have made that block, and then he could have GFI'd this turn one square, and then GFI'd the last one on the next turn. Yeah, I think that was a bit of a mistake. Using that reroll. Now you can activate the Minotaur to hit the. The name, yeah. Boosh. Glorious red eye Minotaur. Love to see it. <laughs> and 3D this guy. No. I like 3Ding him. He's the, the dirty player's right there as well. He's only got a bench of one. Maybe he should have GFI'd one last turn as well, because now he could yeah. uh, just try and push. He still has the. I was thinking that you still have the reroll, so take some risk now. Okay, Chun has Chun's gone for the surf, but Chun could have gone like he was here, wasn't he? Um, yeah. One, two, three. Fuck off. <laughs> right, I'll pause it. He was here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, sorry, he was here. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine GFI or nine double GFI. And then if he gets a push, oh no, he's got him as well. Okay. Disregard. <laughs> I was like, he just needs a push to get him out of range. But no, he, he had the other guy anyway. All right, it wasn't, it was not as bad as I thought. <laughs> yeah, okay. With, with having this guy there, then it's better to not GFI because. You can just, you know, you don't want to lose the ball this, like, last turn, do you, if you double one? All right, and now Elliot, yes. Curl upon this guy. I will try to get three dice on this, I'll see. Can't, he can't do it, though, that was the problem. He could have three dice the line up. But then... Oh, he's Whoa! walled the one! Why? Oh, the roll is there. The roll is there. One in thirty-six. No! Oh, that's brutal. Oh. That's brutal. After the recovery, Elliot did and uh, keeping his nerves and doing, you know, being able to reach there. Yeah. Oh, that's tragic. At least the ball didn't go in the crowd. That could have gone a lot worse for him. Ball could have like gone back and then back, and the ball could have just like landed here, and it could have just been a score for Chun. <laughs> <laughs> like, you would have been really unlucky, but it was possible, wasn't it? It was really possible. It wouldn't be the first time that happens. Yeah. He's going to get a foul on the claw pommy, though. Should have thought of that, maybe, Elliot, and uh, protected the guy after he did the blitz. 
I think Elio was thinking about the scoring. <laughs> yeah, I think he was, but that was... Uh, I mean, it's not like, okay, I'll pump and then uh, I'll score and sort it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Of course, being very, uh, very harsh, uh, hypercritical, but, you know, uh, you've got to be, haven't you? Like, it's... You've got yeah, to be hypercritical to, to find any faults with the likes of Chunter and Elliot, haven't you? Otherwise, you just yeah, can sit yeah, there yeah, going, yeah. that was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, you need to go, you know, the extra mile. Oh, zero point zero twenty five percent terrible play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, and that that costly that that strength four guy is still out. So that was a real costly uh, careless play by Elliot that got him served. How many the Raptor are back? All of them. Yeah. Nine. But well, yeah, the kicker is out, so yeah. Well, they've got a lucky. Never had like four chaos. Mm. Yeah. Did he have babes? No, just lucky. <laughs> just roll, just roll. Four out of five. Oh no, four out of four wasn't. No, yeah, three out of four, and none out of one. <laughs> Well, yeah, zero zero isn't that bad, but yeah, Elliot definitely did well to get back into it. The, the, the wizard has been used, yeah. so yeah, that's very good for Elliot. Yeah, and it would have probably been one one even if he bloody scored thanks to that horrible. Yeah, the one turner makes it uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Now, of course, the Rats might get some attrition in the run with their mighty poor players here. Speak of the devil. Apple this. Yeah. Instant apple. Yeah. I think the Ad for Vermin is great for Chunter. <laughs> for, for his style of play, I mean, Anagi. For Bermin is always good, but for someone like uh, Chandler, it's oh, mana of the gods. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, especially with, with the fact that you're benching the one turner on defense, aren't you? So, like, you haven't even got four gutters on defense, which, like, I guess most teams do that. But still, it's something yeah. to think about the fact that you are benching that guy. Means you've only got three gutters, so having another edge four guy, um, especially with him having the, you know, he's got edge four for the mighty blow on the tackle, so he can hit with the tackle quite well, and he's also got edge four for the guard and move se move seven with the guard. So it's pretty easy. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good, isn't it? Guard the uh, mighty blow tackle edge four. I mean, miss the claw, but the uh, claw is not that useful in many games. Yeah, I mean and that the. Uh, that player kills elves like nothing. And plus Arch is not a double. <laughs> yeah. So and you check the one turn from Chanter got the movement, the sprint, then two heads, <laughs> leader and finally sprint. Yeah. Taking the leader before. Chunter's a madman, isn't he? <laughs> Tentacles, Shadow Wing, Guard, uh, Gutter Runner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this this player I'm not so keen on. Um, but this one, absolutely great. Like, if Ad was a double, then maybe he's already taken Claw, but it's not. Nah, I would have gone for Agility anyway. Yeah. It's, it's just too good, it's too many chances, too many options. Yeah. Because they're, they're often desperate, aren't they, Skaven? And that's the thing, like, on a... If it was a Beastman, on a Beastman team, then you take Claw, because you've already got Claw and Mike Blow. Well, probably. I mean, you could even take Edge on a policeman, but still. Point is, the fact that Skaven are like making desperation plays more, they need that agility more, don't they, than, a, than like a, say, an orc team would. Or whatever. I know what I mean. Also, the, the style of play of Chanter with risky plays, dodges all over the place, and like that, like, it fits perfectly. Yeah. And especially if you're taking guard on the gutters like he has done, like you know, on the gutter doubles he's taking guard, hasn't he? So, so then, and like, I don't know why the guard matters, but then he's got the guard on the edge four, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, there goes Dimi. Oh, Dead. Dimi. 
No more ball carrier for Elliot. To me. And yeah, it's two removals this drive. Obviously, the apple has saved one, but. Fuck off, Demi. I'd hit, kind of hit this uh, Mino off to the side. He's got a blitz and back in the play now, hasn't he? Yeah, they're like the Mino being there. Oh, he rolls a one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He has a beautiful chain with the Mino and the lineman to get in the middle of the AG, uh, Bermin and all that. Yeah, yeah, that would have been real nice. Getting in the thick of it. Yeah, but instead... He's stranded on the side. Which means he's losing his blitz next turn as well. <laughs> or risking the 4 plus to get him in. Now, of course, because he's coming piecemeal and Chunt has plenty of guard, Chunt is just going to bang him down. Maybe go up even more players. Maybe get a foul in. All sorts of options. He can take his time, I mean, uh, he's in uh, good control of the situation. Have to do this block first, he's got to reroll this one. Yeah. The whole team's on the ground now, isn't it? Just brutal. This is a pretty lucky turn from Chunter, isn't it? Just rolling all powers here. Casual armor block, just existing. <laughs> oh, and he, he strands the strands. And there the you minute. go, a layman absolutely annihilates the <laughs> the minotaur. Oh, that's brutal. That is brutal. Because now, if he pushes him and then pushes him again, he's going to be like there, two, three, four, five, double GFI to get back to relevancy. Do you do and then the layman can again. Basically, the uh, Minotaur. <laughs> oh, well, he takes the 2D on the ball and... It okay. works. I don't know why he shouldn't have just let him stand up and 2D the ball. Like, why not just be one behind? Maybe he wanted to do that so that the... Uh, so, you know, to keep the Mino over there as well, but... I don't know, maybe he wanted some extra adversity to feel alive. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't really register that he was just leaving him next to there. And I was just, yeah, that's a bit weird, wasn't it? A bit weird from Chunna. It's a blotch. He's. No, no, that doesn't have block. So that doesn't have block, no. And you would have taken the ball down, wouldn't you? And like, it was easy to get 2D. That was really weird from Chunna. Like, really weird. So why is he carrying with the one turner, you know, is, uh, putting a big target on him and will he carrying with another gutter? Yeah, I mean, okay, he can recover probably, but it's still... Yeah, it does the one day here to get the... Uh... You can push here so that it still won't go out of bounds. Or, uh, this way it can go out of bounds though, because it could bobble onto this guy, couldn't it? So maybe, maybe hitting from here would have been better. Perfect, he's cut there, sure hands. But now he gets to pick it up on sure hands, so it's... <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's much better. Lovely KO. Yep. But how do you stop these rats? Tackle palm the gutter. It's horrible he's still got four gutters, isn't it? And he's got this edge for Storm Vermin. And you've still got this problem. You could surf him. And then 50 50 your minnow back. Or you can just oh. punch him oh. back. That's a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if Helio can afford that uh, level of risk. <laughs> He's blitzing with a minnow, gets the boat down, perfect result, so it saves the square of movement. And double GFI's in back. The armor wreck, uh, yes, he needs to run away from 
Running it, running it, coming lane, man. This looks quite a nice turn now, doesn't it? Maybe she could have yeah. been one over there, but yeah, that's a pretty nice turn. I think maybe she could have done with being here, because there, there is the way through now, isn't there? He's not doing a whole lot here. Maybe should have tried the GFI. Oh! Oh! Can we see another double one? Justice for Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> and this time block won't save him. Yep. And everyone's tagged. Ah, it's looking pretty rubbish. Do you minnow dodge blitz the air uh, storm vermin to get tense on the ball? I think that's probably your best shout. As horrible as a four plus loner dodge is. Doesn't go for that, he goes for the 3D. To be fair, his 3Ds have been on point, Elliot. He's had some good luck there. But that 3Ds. Yeah, but still, you know, like I've made plenty of 3Ds for nothing. <laughs> yeah. With tackle, I've made plenty of 3Ds. And also, I was nothing. able to, uh, to hit the one turner. Yeah. That was but massive. That's why I like carrying on the one turner. Oh, wow, he's killed him. Oh, that. just after using the apple for uh, the one turner, there he goes. That's. Yeah. Brutal, brutal turn. Um, but yeah, that, that's why I kind of I like carrying on the on the one turner because at least like you shouldn't get him hit, right? And then if he's not carrying it, then it's a, you've got to protect the ball and the one turner. So by carrying on the one turner, you you know you're putting all your eggs in one basket. But it's it's the basket you care the most about. <laughs> Always in, at the level of a chanter carrying about his players. <laughs> I think he should have rerolled that here, uh, Elliot. I think he probably should have made two another GFI as well to tag him because this is just too easy to stall. Chunt has got this guy can come here, and then this guy can come here, and he can blitz him, get him around, and just you know dodge away with him or whatever. This is looking pretty, pretty horrible. Can get it here. And go up there. I don't like that. He could have gone here, couldn't he? And then there'd have been a screen. Cool, uh, and, uh, I think the screen was really, really deep. Yeah, he could. He could have gone there. And then, in fact, he could have been here. Right, this guy could have been here. And then the throw could like pass to the cover there. I think that would have been much stronger. As it is, he's really like, he needs this 3 plus to work to shut down hitting from here. And he does. And uh, that's a pretty good base. He's got to go for this, hasn't he? 4 3. 2 2 to hit the ball. He's got to take this Elliot, as horrible as it is, because putting pressure on is not going to work. And he has to go for the sack. Has to go for the rowdy ball sack. Yeah, there is a... no yeah, many options and none of them is good, but against rats, that's usually the case. Yeah. Well, what what he could do actually is is dodge here, and then if he if he uses the reroll, then make the hit. Oh, he's gone the wrong way. I do not like that. That's a five. There could have been a four. But... Yeah, no, I think I think the better way is to go this way, right? And then yeah, if you, if, if you use the reroll, you can just hit him and then like you know go on base or whatever. If you ha if you feel like you have to, like you know if you want to, or you can just commit to there and then it's a four plus three plus. But yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> Do 
Two blaze skulls. <laughs> now Elio's just gotta roll like <laughs> more crazy dice. Just uh with this guy, yeah, chain him. An extra square. Three sixes, three sixes. You see bleach. Yep, I like this. I like this. Let's get him a square closer. And it's just two fives. Yeah, now it's the fives. Fails. Fails the first one. Well. This starts to look like a game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think, you know, <laughs> my expertise, I think, 1-0 uh, versus Chaos, turn 16. Yeah, yeah, I'll put some money on the rats here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nearly 50%, I'll give the uh, 52 for the rats, 48 for Chaos. I would quite happily put my life savings on the rats at this point in time. <laughs> I think that's fair to say, um, but you know, could get a riot, and then two turn, without sure hands, but he's got a re-roll, I mean there's a chance right, there is a chance, there is a slim chance for Elliot here, but yeah, the dead, the dead sacker is pretty bad news from now, he's wholly reliant on the wizard, um, that is actually a big loss for Chunter. Okay, he's got a rattle as well, but still, the rest of the strip is nice, isn't it? Yeah, not especially in a, in a gather. I think mean, when you have gathers with guard too. Yeah. yeah. This fucking... <laughs> this fucking gutter. <laughs> I mean, when it works against agility teams, it's absolutely nightmare. It must be absolutely disgusting, you know, having that thing moving around. <laughs> yeah. No, because you, you, you roll the tentacles, you pass them, okay, but you have the shadow wing, so it's like... Yeah. He can one turn, yeah. Uh, not if he fills the pickup. <laughs> and fills the pass. Oh, he's caught it! Oh, it's still on, it's still on, it's still on! Oh my god! I think he's put the, he's put the attack in, he's put the friends in the wrong place, though. I believe. I believe the frenzy is in the wrong place. I think he should have been here to do the last two hits. I don't know if he's in the right place. Because then he would have been one forward, and then he could have hit that other guy in front of him. Oh, he probably did it right. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think I think he did it right. I think I was wrong, and Neliod was right there. Um, <laughs> quickly rectify that. I think he did it. I think he did it perfectly, and he could have got it. But when you're three dice and don't get the push, yeah, you're fucked. So there you go. Well, congratulations, Elliot. Congratulations, Chanter. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, both played quite well, didn't they? Um, as yeah, they, they, they saw a lot of chances. It was like uh, very tight in the first uh, half. And then it's just a matter of the rats are too dangerous, too easy to score with rats. Yeah. Too many, obviously, too many chances. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, that, that Minotaur did not pull his 250k weight, did he? <laughs> no, 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 no. He really did not. Um, but there you go. Uh, so, yeah, congrats, Chunter. Uh, commiserations, Elliot. Thank you very much, Faimir, for the commentary. Absolutely glorious, as always. As always, a pleasure. Uh, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.